what it is, what it do, our dysfunctional family is coming through with another video for you. You guys, I've never been to a neighborhood market Walmart. Yeah, ever. So, um, I was inspired to come see what they have. So hopefully they got some good finds. Let's go. I have never been there. And a good evening to find. Okay, so we walk in, they've got some fresh flowers, they got some pastry, and then they have the fruit section. It looks like they have a really good selection. Fresh bread. Let's see how the, how stock the fruit section, the, the produce section, I'm sorry. Okay, so, what does it say? Red mangoes are 50 cents. Pineapples. Okay, so it seems like it's moderately priced. Avocados, two for dollars. Tomatoes, two pounds for dollar. That's really good. That's like um, almost like the price of a Mexican market. Okay, they they're stocked on all their produce, you guys. It actually, it looks pretty well stocked. Got bananas, 52 cents a pound. That's competitive. Oh my gosh. I am shocked. This is like so much, like the quality looks so much better than it does at a regular Walmart, huh? Oh, yeah. Like it the does. Like the actual yeah. This is freaking awesome. And the prices are very competitive. Like it's not like it's more expensive or anything. Let's see. Everything's very well stocked. It looks very fresh. They have all the all the dressings, all the cold dressings. They got fresh veggies, hummus, avocado. I wonder if they have a clearance section. Yeah, look, the salads are stocked. Everything, the salad kits. I'm very impressed, you guys. I imagined this being as janky as the actual Walmart stores because some of the Walmart stores do have like a lot of food, but it's just the quality is not there. But here, the quality is amazing. Yeah, everything looks well stocked. They even have like the big potato sacks. Those are hard to find at the regular Walmart. This is pretty good. Yeah, let's go on this way. Ooh, look at all the carrots. Got a jelly counter in here. Okay. Okay, they got a lot of fresh food, fresh produce, chicken. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Drinks. Okay, they got the hummus over here. And then they've got all the bacon. I'm just shocked. You guys are probably like, yeah, we've been there, but I have never been to a neighborhood Walmart. I'm like shocked at the amount of selections that they have. This is this is awesome. Is this the clearance rack? Okay. Many subs, two fifty. Does, does it sound like it's a clearance though? Does it sound high? Oh, it's okay. I mean, that's fine. That's a good price. But two fifty doesn't seem like it. See, it's only eighty three cents. Mm, let's see how much are these. One ninety seven. See, that's not much of a clearance. I mean, it is savings, but they have a lot of ham selection, a lot of deli meat selection. They have the coffee, they have the cold brews. That's really good. Wonder if they have a, another clean section where all the produce or all the other stuff is. Maybe you have to get here early. Even the cheese selection. Yeah. Wow. Milk. 
Oh, and then this is the bread. The bread aisle. They're very well stocked, you guys. Very well stocked. I think that next time I have to get my groceries, this is going to be the place because I had no idea that the quality of the food was this good. This is insane. What kind of bread is this? Wheat? Okay. Yeah. Looking for her. Have you been selected? Oh my gosh. Sliced brioche. Just regular brioche, I think, would be. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at those little rolls. Tell me they don't look good. Oh my gosh. But anyways, what I was going to say is the regular brioche we can make bread pudding with. And it is amazing. How cute. They got the little pies. Regular size pies. They got empanadas. Oh my gosh. They got empanadas. They got Mexican bread all packaged up. This is amazing. I'm very impressed, you guys. Cream okay. horns, okay. Lemon mini donuts. I've never had lemon mini donuts. Oh, what take one of those. We have to try them. Is it lemon? But it says lemon. Look at these. These look like the apple bites. Like the little uh, things that we get at Porto's. But the ones that are filled with guava. I'm freaking shocked. And look at all the pastries and cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Banana pudding? Are you serious? This is crazy. Oreo mousse dessert? Oh my gosh. Guys, I have never. And the only reason we haven't been here is because it's on the completely opposite side of town that we're on. This is like south of where we live chocolate mousse or no this is north of where we live not so and we're on the south side oh my gosh okay see the eggs okay see the, that's an actual that's a better price than our neighborhood walmart our neighborhood walmart is nine something that's okay let's see what they have you want to go through every aisle or you want to just skim through it? Okay, well, it looks like they have seltzer waters and we need seltzer waters. Look at they have the Mexican juices like this for a buck. You don't think Kehlani would like some? 40 cents. They have a guava nectar. You would probably like that too. Mix it with the seltzer water. Yeah, just apple nectar. Maybe take an apple nectar also. Oh my goodness. And we weren't even going to shop, you guys. But this is... An, oh. <laughs> but this is awesome. Like... We were just going to show you guys what they have. And kind of see what they have. Because I've never been to this one. But this is... This is really cool. Uh, they don't really have the packets we drink, but they do have seltzer waters. They have the apple ones. We love those. I like the apple ones, the peach ones. Um, which other ones? Strawberry, but for sure the apple ones and turns excuse us. Um, yeah, for sure take some apple, some. The strawberry, it's the last one, so so this will be our drink run. <laughs> um, vanilla cream, I've never had that. Tangerine mango, they have peach. 67 cents is a really good price because I think I get them at Target for like 80 something cents. And um, the other Walmart might have them for 70 something cents. So that's really good. Okay. <coughs> oh my goodness. Why? Why? Okay. 
And then, look, even the 12 packs are cheaper here. They're 348. Oh. And the other day we were at the grocery stores and they're like six something. See, 348 for a 12 pack, that's not bad. Oh, see like here, this one's $5, $5. That's insane. We're not paying $5 for a 12 pack. Heck no. That's why we just went to Sam's Club and got the pallet thing for like 11 bucks. It's like two, like three 12 packs. Okay. All right, so we got, we are done with the drink aisle. Let's go on to the next thing. thing. I do need some butter, but I was gonna get that from, with my shopping list. Oh, look, they have wrapped Mexican bread, individually wrapped. I wanted to see the tortillas because I have a shopping challenge coming up. And I can get 110 tortillas at Sam's Club for about $3.20. Oh, here's the juice aisle. <laughs> and then they got the breads. Got donuts, bread. Okay. Tortillas. Yeah, so see here we could get 80 tortillas for 342 at Sam's Club. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's the 100 tortillas for 342. Is it 100? Yeah, and at Sam's Club I get 110. So it's not that much of a difference, but it is a little bit. Okay, they got tostadas. Cool. I'm looking at they got the Dave's bread okay and now we got farm bimbo oh my god for 628 they don't have them individually yeah sky's right there look there you go they have the fawn bimbo. We like this bread from Sam's Club sometimes. Well, most of the time. But we get two of these for $3.98 over there. And right now we've been doing the, the cheapest bread that they have, which is this one. Yeah. Okay, so the kids love these. We're going to take a couple of these. Oh, oh, wow. This is a good price for these too. But let's take one of these. They're $1.44. Okay. That's a really good price. You should just do two, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a... No, we got plenty of pops. Yeah. Like plenty. Okay, so I'm getting distracted over here. And they have the jams, they have the jellies. Let's see if we can find a affordable one like a dollar one do they have a dollar one you think like walmart brand or something 172 um because i'm gonna need to buy it for the challenge that's why i'm 196 oh my gosh these california prices are no joke huh 172 the the grape one looks bigger huh we probably have to go great. Oh my gosh. Junior, sophomore, sophomore, first grade. Oh, they're all mixed up. Let's see if we can find. Fourth grade, freshman. That's funny. That's cute. So let's keep it moving. We do need butter, so let me see. And then I usually get the Sam's Club brand at Sam's Club, but I'm trying to like stay on a budget, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take just this, and then and then I want to take a backup one, like one of these. I wasn't even oh. I wasn't even supposed to come shop. Like, we were just gonna look. What are we doing? We may have stopped with all the crescent rolls, grand rolls, biscuits. And this is actually pretty cool because my Walmart, our Walmart, is always out of these. Like, they're always out of them. They have pie crust. I can never find these at our Walmart. That's crazy. 
and they're only a dollar sixty-eight. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm sold on it. They have pizza crust. Where have we been? Oh my gosh, we make our own pizzas all the time, and we buy those pre-made ones. Okay, cottage cheese, sour cream, rock again. Okay, uh, cream cheese. Oh my gosh, the great value cream cheese is only a buck? How? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we are in the chip and cracker aisle now. We do? How many do we have? Okay, go ahead. We do Pop Secret. Pop Secret? Yeah. Then we have the app too, huh? Well, if you want to try it, you can, but I'm pretty sure we do the... Yeah, we do. So, okay. Okay, so we are in the cracker section. And, no, Kehlani likes these. But we like this brand. For some reason, we like the great value better than this. These don't stay as crunchy as long. So, get those. Okay. And it looks like everything's pretty well priced. It doesn't look overpriced or anything, so it looks good. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. And we usually get the small packs of those, not the big ones. The ones we get usually, it's eight pack, but it's fine if you want to take those, that's fine. But we usually take the dollar ones because they have four in each thing instead of instead of six. So it's less calories per serving. Okay. On chips, I think we're good on chips because we still have those Doritos and so I think we're good on that. Unless you want a hot chip or something. Okay, Oreos, Kehlani needs Oreos. Oh, four, 82, that seems, no, I've seen them cheaper. Seen them cheaper? Yeah, got them for 2.99, I think. Or it might've been the small one, huh? Oh yeah, this is, yeah. This one's two something. Double something? Yeah. Okay, it's mayos, and they got the dressings. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm like shocked. It seems like they got a bigger selection here than they do at the regular Walmart. And it just seems very, very um, standard throughout the store. It doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like they're they're low on anything it seems like they're pretty much well stocked good selection variety of food I'm just very impressed by the quality I keep saying it because I'm just I'm impressed you guys <laughs> like this is okay get those for Kiwani. okay I've heard of this have you guys tried this one I heard this is the best sauce there is right now like natural ingredients premium taste let me know what kind of sauce you guys use this looks like it's marinara sauce and a tomato basil but i'm sure they've got different ones oh and then we got the mac and cheese annie's is very well priced you guys because it's 97 cents here usually uh it's like a dollar 99 at targets and stuff like that and then they have mac and cheese for 34 cents and 50 cents. Oh my gosh. I think I just had never paid attention to the off brand. Cause I'm always just so like, this is what we get. This is what we're, what we're used to. But we definitely have a lot of selections. Let me tell you, these challenges have definitely opened up my eyes to like new things. Like, for sure. Like, I'm going to buy one of those freaking rice things. 
one of those rice packs for for the challenge we're gonna do and one of those pinto beans we are gonna eat well you guys the next challenge we're doing is gonna be an amazing one look even the asian section is well stocked they have most of the sauces that you need to make your favorite asian inspired foods they got coconut milk they got cow rose rice that's pretty good hot sauces they have our cholula they have tahin they got it everything's well stocked everything's just organized way better than our regular walmart that's for sure yeah we got hand sanitizer oh wow two for five these are 250 how Wow, that's amazing. We can make our Mexican corn with that. Ooh. Okay, so we got all the jellos they're stocked up on. Flowers, cake batters, or cake boxes. Pretty cool. Their seasonings are very well stocked. I like it, I like it. Yes. Oil. Okay, now this is the thing. 9.48, the meats. This is, it's 13.92 for five pounds. That's not bad. The meat looks really fresh. It actually looks really fresh. So it looks like the selection that they have is amazing. I don't know about that. That looks a little expensive. But I think meat is just expensive everywhere now. Oxtails. A pound. I think that's a lot, don't you think? Five dollars or something per pound. I want to make them. One of my subbies um, suggested that the next thing we make is oxtails. And I really want to make them because we want to make them like gravy like in a gravy over rice yeah but like the meat is so expensive here 11 per pound i mean i know meat is expensive everywhere but 366 for this sometimes these go on sale for 199 you guys then so i think for the meat maybe not necessarily here but everything else just seems so affordably priced. See, this was marked down by three bucks. So this is market side butcher. So original price was 907, you saved 336. So that's not bad. Pure love. And then they still have a section for your diapers and your wipes and it looks pretty well stocked too. It's a full aisle, just full of diaper and baby stuff, baby items. And then they do have all the veggies, you guys. They have pomodoro rice cauliflower. But to be honest, since I have a ninja, I prefer to rice my cauliflower now. It makes it so much cheaper because we can season it however we want. But look, they have everything. They have hot chilies to make salsa, to make stew. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't believe it. All the baby stuff is stocked up. Yes. So this is more concentrated on food, on produce things like that and the other walmart is just the regular walmart is just concentrated on other products and now it makes sense as to why they opened these up because they're just so well stocked they have organic they have a lot more things than the regular walmarts do and that's freaking awesome they still have customer service money services all that pick up self-checkout they have so much frozen food selections you guys so many like just burritos tacos 
it's like your actual Walmart store on steroids. <laughs> All right. White Castle. <laughs> yeah, they, they're pretty stocked on everything. I think I spotted the clearance aisle, so I want to get the clearance aisle before we go. And they have frozen hamburgers, beef patties, 20 bucks. That is not bad. Oh, boo, I saw these. I want to make these. Look, I saw recipe keto style. So when we actually come grocery shopping, I'm going to get these. There's like how many packs are in here? Uh, Four packs. Yeah, so. <laughs> Five pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. That's not bad. Okay, so this is all just like the ice creams and stuff. And then they do have their regular vitamins and supplement area. And Boo found the mother load. He found the Mexican candy. And is just standing there in awe. <laughs> standing there in awe of all its glory. That's his weakness, if you guys don't already know. Candy, that's why he got all this. Then they do have some back to school items, also. So, I mean, they've got a dog pet section. I am just surprised how much of a selection they have. And they got cleaning products. I did see the clearance. There it is. So, let's see if they have some stuff at least. Stocked on the TP. Oh, let's see if they have the candle that I want. It's that watermelon one. Oh, of course they don't. Pineapple. No. Darn. Been looking for that watermelon one for a minute. No Clorox wipes. No Lysol spray. No. Okay. So, the clearance section is a little janky. Because, yeah, looks like that's it. How much is that? 448. 484, but that doesn't sound like much of a clearance. Uh, like 40 cents? Yeah, that's not clearance. Come on, Walmart. Ugh. And then they have some school supplies. Okay. Can we get all the questions outside for about one half? All the questions outside for about one half. How much are the Tupperwares? Oh, that's only 10 bucks. I need to reorganize my Tupperware stuff. And I do want to start buying the glass ones. Okay, so we were just coming in to show you guys what the store actually looked like here. But we ended up like buying stuff that really is not on our list. So it's time for us to go. <laughs> yeah, look. Look at all this, you guys. We were just coming in to actually show you the store. And yeah. And all these things are like really not even on our list. Ready for a second job, huh? <laughs> <laughs> our list to buy, our like our list of things that we need. These are just like extras. So it's time for us to check out. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of videos you want to see us doing. And we love you for watching. Bye.